hello! Today I'm here with a new video and today I am here with something kind of new, but it's not new. I have done Free Looks 1 palettes in the past, but I am thinking to go over to mostly 2 Looks 1 palette because honestly I don't have the time to do so many Free Looks 1 palettes. It feels like it was a long time since I did one last and I'm just might try to do two looks one palette. So today I am picking, I am doing it with a palette that I have had for a while. I uh, haven't used it that much, two times I think, so I want to use it again. And it is the Ace Beauté Vintage Dawn. It looks like this. I really, really like this in my first impression. So I'm going to do two looks with this palette. So if you want to see that, just keep on watching. So the Vintage Dawn is one of the newer, but not newer, <laughs> the Nostalgia palette is their latest palette, but they came out with this Vintage Dawn and Scarlet Dusk. Uh, small palettes with 12 shades and I can leave my first impression up here. Really like that. I did a blue and orange look if I'm not mistaking. Um, so yeah, I'm <laughs> going to do something with this. And I, today, or this look, the first look, I want to go back to my roots, the things I love the most. So I'm going to use the top row and my these two because I want to do an orange red uh, Yellow, yellow look. So I will start with Daybreak in my crease and also take Horizon in my crease and I will take Daybreak like in here and then do Horizon rest of my crease. So like regarding Free Looks 1 palette, if you... It is, it takes a lot of work to do them. Um, and that's why now for a while, I can't like even remember when I did my latest Free Looks 1 palette, but it takes a lot of time and I usually just do like one makeup look a day, so it takes me three days to film, then it takes like an hour, and then it takes such a long time to edit, and they usually are like half an hour, 40 minutes, so it takes long to edit, long to render it, and long to upload. And it just is a lot of work, but I really love to do them because I love to play with a palette and like show you the different looks you can do with a palette. But I think this year, or this year I hope that I will realize that I am a normal person doing a full-time job and doing YouTube as my hobby and I don't want to compare myself to people that only do YouTube or maybe doesn't work a full time and I okay this is maybe more like a get rid with me talk about doing my makeup okay, now i'm going in with horizon this orange one in the rest of my crease but like i want to find the joy in makeup again and i don't want this to stress me and doing free looks one palette is actually a little bit stressful because i just want it i just want it to be done as fast as possible but I can't so and I know that you are amazing people that watch me and I know that you um, don't care if I do a two looks one palette or a three looks one palette and I know that but I'm still a little bit like afraid to only do a two looks one palette. Do I make any sense and should I maybe talk about what I am doing right now instead of talking about my feelings for two looks one palette? I might. I must say I really really like this. Maybe the yellow I wish it was a little bit more punchy like but it's not the neon jello. Jello. So yeah it's 
normal yellow. And hopefully now if I'm deciding to do mostly two looks, one palette, um, it will be more of them. I'm going to test this out. Maybe this beginning of this year or maybe this year is going to be like I test things out. I don't know. Okay, I actually think I want to go in with, but it looks a little bit brown. But yeah, I will take Grand Canyon, this one, and take it a little bit like in my outer B, but no, I don't want to do that. I'm just going to take it and deepen down the orange just a little bit, like out here. Because I don't think I want to take this the whole way in. And I, I thought about the thing in my Get Red With Me that I did, uh, that came up on New Year's Eve. Um, I talked about our new cat, Ines, and I don't know if I've said this, but it has gone so good. Yeah, I think I've talked about this, or have I? Maybe not. But it's going so good with Ines and Astrid. They're friends, <laughs> they play a lot. And uh, yeah, they are really good friends and it feels amazing. So I, I mean like where this is going. So for my lid, I want to do a shimmer lid, only shimmers. So I'm going in with Gleam, Golden Hour and Sun. So I will take Gleam, Golden Hour and then Sun. And I hope that this will look good. I think last year I like, really started to love shimmers. I have only, I have only, I have always like, liked shimmers, but it has not been something that I feel that every look needs. And I don't think this brush is so good with this shade. Do I have a better brush? Maybe this one. Is it hard pen on this shade? I know that. It feels like with Ace Bouté, either you love the formula or you can't stand it. And I am one of these that love it and I don't understand what a lot of people have for kind of problem with it. But what I have understand, it is some difference between like their flare palette Oceanic palette and the Paradise collection. It feels like the Paradise collection isn't as good as the Flare palette and Oceanic. I don't know. I haven't tested any of the Paradise palettes, so I don't know. Okay, now we're going into Golden Hour, so we will see how this will work. Okay, this picked up so much better on the brush. So I'm putting this, yeah. Do you see like the difference when I did put on this golden hour and when I put on Gleam? Quite of a big difference I would say. I had changed the battery so I hope that I look the same. And with the battery thing, nothing to do at all with makeup but like buying a second battery is like the best thing I've done to myself when it comes to my YouTube. Because I don't know how many times I've been like completely ready, film a video, start a camera, and uh, there is no battery. <laughs> so buying an extra battery is, is a tip for me. Okay, so you see this golden hour works like a dream. So... I haven't touched all the shimmers in this palette, actually. And you know what? I think I will change my mind. Because I said I was going to take Sun, but I actually think I will take Serengeti. You see how... Yeah, I will take that Serengeti instead and maybe take Sun in my inner corner. Okay, so I'm taking Serengeti. 
it's the little I have left and this feels like a mix between golden hour and gleam. It feels like this is hard pen as well. And I think that this is like a problem with me not using my palettes that much. It's like there is always maybe like a few shades in a palette that I haven't used. And when I say I really love the palette, really like it. And then maybe one of them a hard pan, one of them are bad to blend out. So that is going to be my goal this year. Maybe not to use all the shadows in all the palettes I have because that is a lot, but maybe take a palette that I've used a lot, but not use all the shades just to see how it performs. And I am not like wet on my fingers, so I don't think it would be that that makes a hard pan. <sighs> Maybe I don't love this palette then. I don't know. But the golden hour. That is like really really good. Okay, I like this. It was a little bit of a struggle. But I like it. I'm just going to take golden hour and blend it a little bit more here. I want to take like gleam and try to smudge it a little bit in my crease. I don't know if it is going to, if I'm going to be able to do that. Because it feels I want to be a little bit darker, at least out here. Okay, so I like the lids like this. So I'm just as normal going to take away my fallouts, fix my base and my brows, and then I come back. So for the under eyes, I don't really know what I want to do actually. I think I might go in with Horizon and Grand Canyon, and then go in with Sun in my inner corner, because I don't trust the shimmers to have them under my eyes because I think I need to struggle with them. So I'm just going in with Horizon first. And then I'm just going in with Grand Canyon. And this looked really good when I took it to, took to, took it in my crease together with Horizon because I wanted to match a gleam. I wanted to match gleam a little bit. So, and then I'm taking sun, this one, and I'm just taking my pinky and hoping it will be okay. And it's like, I think in a corner, in a corner highlight, I think I do it in like every single look I do right now. But I, I just really, really like it. So, like that, I I like the look, but <laughs> I'm going to, okay, I'm going to finish the look up and I'm going to talk a little bit about the look later on. So, something my waterline and mascara. This is the finished look for my waterline. I used Shebang from NYX and on my lips I took Hanging Rock from Nabla, like my all-time favorite lipstick that is, for some reason, a limited edition. So, for <laughs> this look, I did use the whole top row, Grand Canyon, Golden Hour, and Serengeti. So it was five colors that I didn't use. I like how the look turned out. I'm going to do like a review in the end of this video, so I'm not going to do it now, but I really love the end result. This is like my favorite color combo. So I really like how the look looks. I don't love how I had to work to make it this, but I will talk about each and all the shades that I'm using in the review part. So if you want to see what I think, there is timestamps down in the description um, if you just want to see the review. 
But if you want to see the second look that I'm going to do with this palette, just keep on watching. So it is time for the second look with the Ace Boutte, Ace Boutte Vintage Dawn as Bottai. The palette looks like this. The first look I did, if you didn't saw it, I did a really like me look. So now I am going to do something that isn't that me. I don't know if I only will use two colors. I haven't decided yet. But I'm going to take Sky and Dew. And take like Sky out here. And then almost have my whole lid with Dew. We will see how that would go. Like the only thing I wished for was that maybe it would be... One of the browns would be more light. So I could have that in my crease. But... I will take Sky out here and I will see if I can blend it into my crease. But I don't want to put it in my crease. Because this might be really, really dark. And it picks up so much on the brush. So this might... Yeah, okay. This is really dark. And it feels like I want to... have something like more up in my crease that isn't as dark but I have nothing to go with. Dark blues are... Sometimes they are really really good, sometimes they are really really bad. The blue, the dark dark blue in Oceanic from Ace Pate. Is it Lagoon? It might be. That is a really dark, <laughs> that is a really good dark blue. This isn't as good if I'm not mistaken. I wouldn't say that this is patchy. No. But okay, I will go in with a clean crease brush. <laughs> I was like, what is this? Um, and just try to... Take it in the whole crease because I think it will be so so dark to take it like directly in my crease. I'm not super thrilled with what I have right now, but it might change when I put on dew. And as you see, this blue, I think you can see the difference. I really need to like pack it on. I think I'm happy with it, like this. Okay, so I'm going in to do this one and take it on the rest of my lid and I, I will not cut my crease. Cut my crease, cut. Yeah, cut my crease. I will not take a glitter glue to begin with. I will try with the shade and we will see how this will stick. Um, not that good. Do you, do, do you know what? I will go in and actually cut this crease. Because I still want to have a nice look. Even though this do not want to work with me. I will take it a little bit on the darker blue, press a little bit with my finger and then we'll go in with do again and we will see. Because the brush picks it up. Maybe it just is... And you know what, I actually feel like I'm missing something in my crease, but I don't know what I would take from this palette and put in my crease. It feels like this is getting a little bit messy, actually. I might like it, I will go in with Sky again and... Uh, A 
blended a little bit into dew. And that actually looks really, really nice. So maybe I could... Is this stupid? If I take the same brush and like go over here in my inner crease or... Okay, uh... I really love how they like... The dark matte blue is over the dew like up here and here. I don't know if you can see it, but I really really like it. It looks really like a cool effect. I like when I do stuff like this and like I'm going to try something and it turned out so good and it feels like I lost a little bit of the intensity with sky here. Okay, so I think I will go with this. So I will fix the other eye off cam and then I will fix my base and my brows and then I come back and we do the under eyes. Or maybe I should try one more thing. I think if I might, I want to try this. Okay, I'm going to take fade this dark brown and see if I can deepen the blue down or not. I don't know how dark this is because I haven't swatched it and I haven't used it. Okay, it looks pretty dark. So I'm taking this out here and a little bit up in my crease. And I think it, it, it added something to the look, maybe not that much and it didn't take away the blue underneath. So that is good. Okay, so I'm going to fix everything else and then I come back. For my under eyes, I actually think I want to go in with something other than the blue. So I actually think that I will take the green, this one, a cactus. Or do I want that? Yeah, I think I do, so I will take this. it off and smudge it so that is all for the eyeshadow oh my god <clears throat> so that is all for the eyeshadow i will put on mascara something my waterline and a lippy here is the finished second look for my waterline i took fast lane from ColourPop, a dark green it was a little bit darker than i remembered it um and for my lips i took a lipstick from lethal this is myth i wanted something dark when I did my first impression, I did a little review on this and i going to do a little review now as well. So, but okay about this look. I like how it turned out. Um, I really loved to put the dark matte blue on top of the shimmer. It looks really, really nice. The green looks good on my eyes. Maybe it's a little bit darker than I thought it was going to be, but okay, into the review part of the palette. I have used all the shades except for Pyramid, this one, and what I can say about this palette, it is Ace Pitae's formula is a little bit tricky to work with. For me it is okay, but I know that it isn't for everybody, but if we go like if I take the shimmers maybe in one review <laughs> and the, the mattes in another. So the shimmers, I've used them all. Like this Gleam, it was like it was a hard pan. I have used it before and uh, I didn't notice anything. Then I did though, since I did the first look, went with a stiffer brush and that worked better so it might just be that I had the wrong brush but the brush I used, I used like for everything. Sun, I only had it in my inner corner so I can't say super much about that. A golden hour though, it worked amazing. In my first review I wasn't that like excited about it but now when I used it in my first look, it was really good. And now I have a little visitor, if you want to see her. I do a little cat break in my <laughs> view part. Oh, here 
is Lil Ines. You have seen her before, maybe. Which could I do that? But this is her now. I think she's grown a little bit. Can you look into the camera, lady? And I think she's a little bit sleepy. And you don't need to lick my face. I think she's a little bit sleepy, so maybe we should go to sleep. Back from the cat break. Um, golden hour. I really liked it this time. Serengeti, also good, but I needed a stiffer brush. And do I? I thought this was going to be more like impactful. It worked really good when I took my glitter primer, but without it, not that much. So yeah, I don't have any problems with the shimmers, but I just might need to use other brushes or other technique or a glitter primer when I use them. But it's okay for me. This is not my favorite palette, but I'm okay with it. And for the mattes, I have used all the mattes except for Pyramid. I think they are all good. The only thing, like Sky, I don't think you can see this. On this eye, it's a little bit patchy, but this is my dry eye. I have like a dry patch on this because on this it looks better. I needed to build it up, I need to take pretty much, and it was a lot of kick up. But if I packed it on and then blended it out, it worked. And I could lay fade this one over, and it didn't blend away sky underneath, so that is good. So what do I think about this? I think it's a good palette. I think though Oceanic and Flare is better than this, but there's nothing wrong with it. It's a little bit cheaper than the Flare palette. The only thing, like, I would appreciate much more because like the top row and the middle row, they are like easy to do a look with, but this bottom row, if I want to use Sky, I would like um, I would like a lighter blue or a lighter green because both the green and the blue is really dark. It is really cool though to take an orange together with a blue. But I feel like maybe switch out these two browns and do a lighter green and a lighter blue. But it's an okay palette. It's not Ace Butte's best palette but it's an okay palette. I like how it looks, I like the color story, and it was fun to play with it. The only thing I feel, I see if I'm going to, if I can show you. I used it sometimes, no, no, I don't think you can see it, but it's like shadows everywhere. Like up here it's completely orange, and around golden hour and certain getty, it is dirty. So maybe that is my only complaint about the palette like that. But yeah. That was all for this video. I hope you liked it and I hope that you will like that I do more multiple looks with the palette but I think it's just going to be two looks per palette, maybe sometimes three looks but I want to have this up more often and three looks one palette takes so much time both to film and to edit. So yeah. I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!